one. Welcome to the PE Pro app presentation with myself, Ryan Hudson, Jason Robinson, OBE, and Professor Kevin Till. Thank you, Ryan. Um, so I'm just going to quickly introduce um, some some research and and some uh, some theory on this uh, this area. So research shows that in children, um, in recent years, we've got increasing uh, obesity within children. We've also got decreasing physical activity levels, decreasing fitness levels within children, and decreasing fundamental movement skills. So there's a variety of problems that are going on with the children of today, which sort of opens up some questions around whether there is appropriate provision within and outside of schools for children in relation to physical activity, health and sport. We also know that there's a range of existing models available, theoretical models in relation to what children should do from a um, physical perspective and a sport perspective. So this is a, a model from Hull Team in 2018 that introduces the idea around foundational movement skills, how these combine some traditional fundamental movement skills and some non-traditional activities, and how these then progress to specialised movement skills, which are important things to develop for uh, people to have a lifetime of physical activity. There's also other existing models. So this one is a youth physical development model uh, from Lloyd and Oliver, which suggests the importance of developing athletic qualities for children um, at young ages, including, again, fundamental movement skills and then physical athletic ability, such as agility, speed, power and strength. So there's a range of things that we know that, needs to, that, that children need, need, to, need to do but we also are aware that these problems exist, which therefore questions whether this appropriate provision is, is done within children. And that therefore sort of leads on to this idea that we, we need solutions to these problems that is based on, on theory and, and evidence, and that is where the, the PE Pro uh, app comes in as a solution. PE Pro has, has, has been in research for the last two years. Uh, and now we've obviously come to the point where we actually launched uh, the PE Pro for all, for all schools. So there's a lot of research going behind this, and we're working with obviously AFPI, uh, Ofsted on this, with academics and sporting professionals behind this. Our sister company as well also been working and supporting schools for the last five years. We're currently working with over 12,000 children every week in the UK. So everything behind the PE Pro is about fun and making kids getting them active and inspiring them. As you can see on this next clip, the Pro explains. The PE Pro app is aimed to transform physical education in primary schools through our fun and unique approach to physical education. The PE Pro app will inspire and motivate all teachers to do about standing PE and give them the knowledge and tools to make all PE lessons fully inclusive. I think PE is massive in schools. I only have to look at my journey just to see how much it's affected me. I'm really impressed by the quality of coaching on PE Pro. Um, this has been designed by sports professionals. So the insight, the knowledge from academics has all been put in to create a platform that is going to be great for schools and teachers to use. It's so important that we get kids involved in PE at an early age because these are habits, these are skills that they can take home to later life and keep developing all the time. So it's really important for the whole development um, of a child. PE can teach so much about life. For me, it was all about confidence, it was all about leadership. Um, I learned to deal with teams, people from all different backgrounds. So those skills that I learned from PE have uh, served me well now in later life. Prior to using the app, um, I found some areas within PE I struggled to deliver because I didn't have the, the knowledge and the skill set for it. But once I was introduced to the app and was able to use it, I knew instantly how to deliver the lesson, what to teach, what I was expecting from the children. I found it very useful in just giving me a good insight into all aspects of PE. PE and, uh, and physical literacy are, are massively important for, for children. It's massive benefit for their, you know, not just their health and, and fitness, but also 
improving other skills like their social skills and their academic skills as well so improving these things is, is vital. The PE Pro app aims to put PE at the heart of school life. Physical literacy, developing the fundamental movement skills the key for primary school children. Teachers have, you know, hundreds of things to do each day. You know, them delivering a PE session is a, an additional uh, thing they need to think about. So the, the PE Pro app is, is there. It gives them ready-made sessions covering a range of different skills, range of different sports, range of different activities. So there's a massive amount of content there that would be really beneficial to the children and, and the teachers in, in delivering their sessions. The PE Pro app is uh, it's very efficient, very easy to use. Um, we can go outside and field to use it with tablets or in the classroom as well. And loads of different videos, quick little snippets of videos so it's not time consuming so the students have got a visual um, so they know what kind of uh, sport, skill, uh, different locomotive actions they can use. So the PE Pro app has really given me confidence to deliver PE um, especially in the maybe sports that I'm not really confident in. It's a lot, lot of lesson planning uh, involved with being a teacher and like I say it's so easy to use I could not use, I could not uh, touch the app. I go straight outside in the field, right, we're doing football today. I look at football, these are the skills and drills that we need to do today and it's already there for you, so you don't really need to do much planning at all. The app looks superb, you know, the, the visual layout and the, the easy way I'm getting around the app is, is really easy to use and I think that's a real benefit for the, for the teacher in relation to being able to, to access these resources quickly and therefore be able to, you know, deliver a, a, a quality PE session to, their, to the children. Okay, so I hope that explains a bit about the PE Pro. As you can see, obviously working in school, we understand how busy teachers are, you know, especially in the current climate, uh, whether they're doing online Zoom classes to pe you know, child children at home or the covering or they're themselves. It's challenging times at the moment. But we understand how teachers are. The PE Pro is there to be simple, easy to use. We won't have to think, we click a button and it goes, whether it's on an iPad, whether it's on a desktop or even on the phone. They can be looking at things and right off it, what am I looking at? So as you can see on this on slides here, everything from EYFS right way through to year six. On here, okay, each each part of the curriculum here will be specific and progressive, as you'll see on the next slide. So each each term, as always, is split into two sessions uh, per week. So each class should be doing at least minimum of two hours of PE. Uh, as you can see here, for example, here in, in Autumn 1A, we've got more bots. Okay, we've also got Autumn 1B, Fundamental Movement Skills, which is one in along with the youth development model as well. So the six sessions, they'll simply click on a button and they'll go through to each one. There's over 250 lesson plans that they can print out and also 250 videos on there for a quick visual. The big thing for us uh, at PE Pro, athletic development underpins all the sessions. We've got to get active, we're getting the kids moving, athletic development into the two skills that link and then to the game. This is another unique selling point of the PE Pro app. Athletic development, we're getting the kids moving, we're getting them active, and also helps with controlling the behaviour management. Okay, so we're getting them moving, we're getting them out of breath. Skills that tie into the game. You simply click on the app and it opens the videos. So teachers do take us without assessments, what can I see? Now here, as you can see, we're looking at the child from a holistic point of view, working with AFP and also the Austin, we're looking at criteria, health and well-being, locomotor, object control, psychosocial. And on the other side there, I think it's stability on there. So the three things of physical literacy. Now, each one of these will have progression documents, but also a visual. So a teacher can actually see, well, hang on, how do we assess? From a visual, they'll be able to see that. Now, all they will do, they'll get on, they'll put the class in and they'll tick the relevant box that ties into the criteria on the lesson plans and also the video assessment. We believe assessments week one, week 18, and week 36. In a physical literacy, assessment is ongoing. This next slide, teach yourself review. For us to get high quality sessions, making sure we can impact every child, we've got to use it through the teachers. So simple and easy to use. And also we want to monitor, well, actually, is it improving them? So we put a little thing on there. So same again with them. Teacher will self-review week one, week 18, week 36. Thing on confidence. Do you feel comfortable planning? Relevant on knowledge, progression and regression. 
big thing as well, have you got the ability to assess? Now, what this allows you to do as a PE, look at that and look at all the teachers and say, well, actually, when I'm looking at this, actually, you know, 50% of my teachers are showing in the graphs that the knowledge is okay, but when it looks at progression and regression, then they're struggling. So you can target, and really, when you're looking at program design, okay, and dotting the I's and T's, this gives us all the tools. As you can see, we've got a document page on here, so everything that AFP recommend, we've got a lot of documents on here. So this is a stability progression, we believe, from reception right the way through year six. These are all printable documents. We've got the national curriculum on here, the male youth development model, and the female, which is really interesting. Talking about maturation, how girls mature early, object control, locomotion, stability. We've got numerous documents on there. Everything is on one app. No paperwork, everything's on there. It takes out all the hard work. We understand how much these PE leads and that much pressure. And we know that, you know, pressure the maths and English and the things that need to get it. And we realize sometimes that PE is at the bottom. And we believe it should be at the heart. Now, what I will say is PE can make a massive difference to people's lives. Working with Jason and the audience in schools and our partnership we've known him for many years, we've come together and he's going to talk about how he had a massive impact on his life. Thanks, Ryan. Yes, um, PE did play a massive part in my life. I've I've done some amazing things on on the sports field, on a rugby field over a 17-year period. But I, I have to go all the way back to school um, because I never came from a, a, a sports playing family. In fact, I came from a quite a deprived area. Lots of challenges going on as a as a young child. I never knew my father growing up, and uh, you know it was it, it was a real challenge. And and I wasn't one of those children that were were academic. So I always remember um, being in school, and you know, a PE teacher decided that he was going to start up a rugby team, and I never played rugby before. Um, I must admit, I was into lots of different sports at the time. I loved tennis, I loved cricket, um, athletics, but he was passionate about sport. And I didn't have too many um, male positive role models in my life. And, and I always remember because of his uh, his passion for the sport and and his enthusiasm, me and, and a few of my friends got into, into rugby through that. And P taught me so much. It gave me discipline. You know, it gave me a focus as a young child. Um, I always remember having lots of things going on at home um, that I was struggling to deal with. And P not just it didn't just help me um, physically. It also helped me with the uh, the my mental health and, and emotional well being as well. So, so I progressed with my rugby. I got into uh, into into an amateur a team, and and I always wanted to play professional sport. And whilst I wasn't very academic. Um, it did teach me so many different skills that I, I look back on now and think, wow, you know, that really transformed me as, as a person. Um, I always remember being very, very shy as a, as a young child. Um, but PE and, and, and school sport just gave me that confidence that, that I lacked. Um, it gave me uh, a commitment to something. It taught me um, about resilience and, 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 and it's good sometimes to lose um, and, and how I would act then, you know, in, in my success. And, and I took that in and thankfully went on to play professional sport. And, uh, you know, what an amazing journey that was to go from, you know, a very deprived area in Leeds to all of a sudden being on the world stage, playing for England, playing for Great Britain. Um, I, was, I was lucky enough to play in, in three World Cups, three World Cup finals, and uh, I mean, this picture on here just shows, you know, probably one of the the the, the pinnacles of, of my career. And that was winning the World Cup in 2003 with England. So I'm massively passionate now about PE and sport because of the impact that it had on me. I know it's not just for me. I, I know going into schools now and inspiring kids and teaching children, it's not all about creating international players you know, it's about that development, about the the the, the physical, the mental, and emotional um, well-being that PE and school sport bring. So, so working now on on PE and on the PE Pro app has, has been massive for me. It's it's almost a, a legacy piece um, because of what it's done for me. Because of you know what a PE teacher um, did for me at a very young age. I'm now, you know, with uh, with Ryan and 
and everybody else that's contributed, Professor Till, to to the app. We're now able to go out and and, and really inspire kids and and help schools and teachers with uh, you know with teaching high quality PE. So thank you very much for for listening to my story. Um, thank you for listening. Um, to speak about PE Pro and, and the benefits of that, you know, for your free seven-day trial, go to peproapp.com and uh, you'll be able to test out the uh, the program for yourselves and, and hopefully enjoy it. But please give us your feedback. So thank you once again.